Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome back to all those loyal subscribers and welcome to any new subscribers or people checking out the channel for the first time. Today's video content is about my weekly update. It's week nine for the year. A bit of what I've been up to crafting wise and my yarn adventures for week nine. So, which hasn't been a lot because life got in the way of my crafting time which sometimes happens, but hey, that's the way it goes. So I have a couple of finished objects to show you, a new pattern I did and a pattern from my pattern library because I can't resist. I joined some cows this week, new cows. Um, yes, I said I wasn't gonna do as many this year, but I can't seem to help myself. Anyway, the first cow I've taken part in is Charm Grammy's calendar cow. Now she's running this on her Facebook group. I think it's the Annie's calendar which I can't get here and each month they have a project you can do with a pattern and this month's project is a cup cozy and I do believe Charm Grammy lets you do other patterns because she knows we can't all get the calendar. And being a cup cozy I thought oh I've been doing stuff lately or meaning to do stuff and I've done a cup cozy. So here goes. This is the coaster mug cozy. I think that's what she calls it. Mug cozy coaster combo. Has a bottom to it. Ta -da. I have made these a few times with a new little mug and a, a cozy full of chocolates or lollies or sweets, candy, whatever you want to call it. Gift it up makes a beautiful gift, especially for Christmas or Easter. And I have done that. The pattern is by our friend, Yanni sister, Karen Wright. The Mug Cozy Combo. I was gifted this pattern by her. I did actually patent test. The only time I've been asked to patent test for anyone for this. And it is available for sale in her Etsy shop. So I'll put it in the link in the description below because I can highly recommend this as a gift. It is so easy to make. I used the sugar and cream cotton I bought from my little craft shop in Milano. And yeah, there are English um, stitched versions or American stitched versions, but look at that. And it has its own coaster. So with that in mind, because I've been meaning to do this for a while, I do make a lot of tea cozies, but I have been asked for French press coffee pop cozies and I have a little one and I have a big one so I've experimented with a little one and I've made a matching French press coffee cozy hasn't got a bottom in it because they have feed but there you go now the stitch looks very similar and I must confess I used the sober granny stitch by Krista at the secret yarnery and they match I think they did a pretty good job of making them match. And that's another thing you could do as a gift. You could buy a little French press coffee, some coffee to go in it, a mug, and fill it up with, a, you know, like coffee sachets for the French press. Makes a nice gift. But there you go. Karen Wright and Judy at Witch Peace Craft. I paired them up. That will be my entry into Charm Grammy's uh, March calendar crochet along. I'll put the hashtag everything in the description below. It is an awesome pattern. Her Etsy shop is called Building Blessings. She also has a Made It shop which is an Australian um, shop that you can buy from and I'm pretty sure the pattern's probably listed there too. It's as cheap as chips. So there you go. That was what was left over in my skein. I've got quite a few of these little leftovers. I might be making some multicolored washcloths. So that was the first cowl I've been meaning to try for a while. Like she started it in January and yeah, things got in the way. But when I wanted to make the French press coffee cozy, I thought, oh, I'll make the mug cozy first. So my second cowl. Well, I was watching um, Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming or Farming and Crochet. can't remember which. And after winning the patterns for little JJ here and doing JJ, 
I thought I would join the Amig Gurumi Wars. That's being this month, March is being hosted by Laura at Mad Mimi's, and I um, submitted some pattern suggestions. And when she drew out the patterns, I looked at what was there because two are paid for, and I think six or eight are free, and you can make one of those. And I thought I'm going to have a go and join in the March Amigurumi Wars. So I picked one of the free patterns that was on the list. Ellie the Butterfly. Now it's in cotton, like a four weight cotton, but I don't have anything like those colours. But I thought that's not going to stop me. It looks easy enough and I've made one. Yes, I went to my yarn stocks, especially my scraps. And here is Yuki the Butterfly. <laughs> little butterfly I made him yes I made him in Ukraine colors of the Ukraine flag as close as I could get and I've called him Yuki because I think he's really cute I didn't do too bad a job I've made a couple of mistakes like he's ended up with a real bobble on his bottom I don't know what I did there wrong but probably finished it off wrong but yes it was really easy to do this is um, like full weight the blue spotlight saver, the yellow is from Lincraft. I hate the yellow yarn. I think it's called Color Mate or something. You only have to look at it and it splits. I have quite a bit of it left, which I may donate to charity because I, yeah, don't like it. But that is Yuki, supporting Ukraine. Because the only war we should be fighting is a war where you can have fun. So maybe someone should give Mr. Putin a crochet hook and tell him to leave Ukraine alone. That's Yuki. Guys, I really haven't done much more. I've worked on other cows like my um, Nan's Next Knots, my, my own cow, Rock 2022 AU, and things like that. Um, a project that I'm hoping to have finished by April, which is early April, end of March really, which is a big project I'll share with you because I've been experimenting with that. But there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed today's content and if you're new you stick around and subscribe and keep watching the videos and supporting my channel. Anyway, what have you been up to? I know one of my um, subscribers on the last video, she had made um, something in Ukraine colours and she is further south, I think in Victoria. Anyway, and she's hanging it in the window, front window of her house. I will probably put mine in the car because I think we should be supporting Ukraine and praying for them and keeping them in your prayers. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and spread peace and love around your area. Bye for now.